it was a revelation for me when I realized I didn't have to believe everything that I thought. That I, I was in meditation and I was like mad at my own thoughts. And I was like, stop thinking now. I want to meditate. And my mind goes, everybody wants Kung Fu fighting like that. <laughs> and I just threw my hands up in the air. I was like, this is ridiculous. And I, I just saw like, I, I have no control mm-hmm. that, that the mind just is doing its own thing. It's like a hose that's just spraying in all directions. And it's crazy how much I would identify with my thoughts and even defend my thoughts. Right after that retreat ended, one of I, I, there was three guys that came up to me and they're like, what do you think the teacher's doing when he's not meditating? One's like, I bet he's meditating in his room. And the other one's like, I bet he's watching TV in his room. <laughs> and I was like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. He's definitely, and I stopped and I just had that moment. I was like, I just spent this whole retreat watching how ridiculous my thoughts were, how unfounded my thoughts were, how my thoughts don't even represent me. And the very first opportunity I had to talk, I was about to take a thought, try to establish it, defend it, tell other people why their thoughts were wrong. And I just stopped. And I said, I have absolutely no idea. I bet you felt great in that moment. He does. Yeah. 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 (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah. And I still take that with me to this day that I'll have thoughts, you know, I'll be upset. I'll be with someone and I'll start judging them in my head. And I'll just, I'll say it in my head to myself, I don't agree with that. I was like, no, that's not who I am. That's not what I actually think or feel. And that's not how I want to show up in this world. Mm-hmm. That I, I, one of the things that Buddha said, it's like as if a carpenter were to take a round peg with a hammer and, and hit it and pop out an old peg with like a new peg, you know, like replacing a peg in a mm-hmm. structure. And it's like that. It's like, there'll be a thought. And I'm like, that's not representative of me. That's not, I don't even agree with that. And I'll take another thought and put it there instead and be like, no, like this person's doing their best. And if I have a problem, like that's my, like, what, why do I care? What is my, why would I ever judge anybody? What, what does that make me feel? You know, what's my problem? And, and having to, to be accountable, you know, that, that accountability high level accountability with our own thoughts, with our own stories, with our own feelings, with our own behaviors, high level accountability, especially in the, in the world, you know, it's in the monastery it was easier because everyone's holding similar frameworks and you could kind of coast a little more right. and you're still going in the right direction. Right. But uh, in the world, man, it's like, this is the jungle. Like where's, there's everything out here and you have to really be on top of yourself. Cause like I said, a lot of the things around us, they're, they're working against us. Mm. 